Barcelona versus Bayern Munich, both five-time kings of Europe and both desperate for number six, albeit for different reasons. We could be set for an absolute cracker at the Estadio de Luz. Huge, huge game. Special players on both sides. Um, the, one of the best players ever, ever to put on a pair of boots on one side. Lewandowski now, the best player probably on form in the world. I can't wait. I mean, it's, it's either going to be the best team wins or are we going to have one of them unbelievable fairy tale nights for Messi where the best player drags his team through? He's got him out of trouble. Uh, Messi versus the machine, possibly. <laughs> Let's have a look at that machine, the buying team. Neuer's back to his best, that's for sure. Alaba's, Alaba's been unbelievable at centre back. Kimi hit right back. You're talking about two, some of the best fullbacks in the world. So Lewandowski in the form of his life, Muller in the form of his life. So off we go. The third quarter final in the Champions League. Messi on the ball. Sergio Roberto with the cross and Luis Suarez was coming in and Jerome Boateng made a brilliant interception for Messi. Looking for Muller, on to Lewandowski and then back to Muller. That's my ball. It's my clever long way to Jordi Alba. And Suarez was waiting. Oh, it's been hacked into his own net. Barcelona get themselves back in it with a free coke for Barcelona. Messi's worked out early that there's space in the wide positions for Semedo. Out here. Astounded about the way they're playing. A lack of cohesion and lack, lack of fight. They're all put, looking at each other, waiting, hoping something will happen. Steve, they look, one down. Steve, they look like a team of novices who just happen to have the best footballer in the world with them as well. And it's not a surprise, is it? It's not a surprise at all because they've conceded and made mistakes after mistakes after mistakes. here for Barcelona, Jordi Alba, another 31-year-old, Suarez arriving, brilliantly done, superbly done, great goal, Barcelona 2, Bayern Munich 4, in a wonderful quarter-final. That you can play against this team, leaving two up top, when you don't have the ball, you can leave Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez up top, when you don't have the ball, letting your midfield get absolutely flanked in there, get outnumbered, get out muscle, get out fought, I mean, to, to have a coach select a side against this current Bayern Munich team and try and play at times 4-4-2 against that Bayern midfield was an absolute shambles. You see that uh, we counted too much, or the club counted too much on, uh, on one person, on uh, Leo Messi, and football has changed. Six individuals doesn't make a team, and the team makes results. But because of some talents, they were surviving or they were even successful. But now it doesn't work and it's not enough. If you don't have a good defense, you will struggle. It's the problem with Real Madrid when Ramos doesn't play. It's the problem with City if Laporte is not there. It's the problem with Chelsea because they don't have defenders. And it was a problem today uh, with, uh, with uh, Barcelona because we all know that they struggle defensively. 
Barcelona showed us that is, they're not there anymore and, uh, and uh, they will have to change many, many things. We've seen a kind of end of an era, do you think, a little bit this year. That it's the first time in the Champions League, in the semi-finals, that we've not had Ronaldo or Messi since 2005.